Hi everyone, Sarah Casper here, Marketing Assistant for Tropica Aquarium Plants, and welcome to this video. Today, we will update you on our Brazilian style aquascape that was set up four weeks ago. You can watch the entire Tropica Live Workshop rerun or highlights video on our channel. Links are in the description. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. As you can see, the aquascape has shown some considerable growth, but has also experienced several issues. There has been some significant plant melt in several species, and also a rapid buildup of diatoms on the rocks and some of the plants. The die-off is most noticeable in the carpeting species near the front of the aquarium. You can also see a buildup of surface scum that's often attributed to organic waste. It's important to try to understand the cause of these issues before attempting to remedy the symptoms, otherwise the problems will simply reoccur. To give us some deeper understanding of what's happening, we use a test kit to check water parameters, including ammonia, nitride and nitrate. This will give us an understanding of where we are with the nitrogen cycle and allow us to take necessary action. The readings were very interesting, with a sky-high nitrite, high nitrate but low ammonia. In summary, this tells us that the nitrogen cycle has not yet completed and action needs to be taken in order to help prevent further algae issues and die-off. This also means we should not be adding any livestock, including algae eaters, until the cycle is complete with ammonia and nitrite levels of zero. We can assume the soil caused an ammonia spike which was then made worse by the organic waste from the melting plants. Another contributing factor was the daily water changes weren't able to be carried out during the first three weeks, therefore allowing the nitrogenous compounds to build to excess. We also observed the CO2 distribution needed to be improved, so we increased the bubble rate and then exchanged the CO2 diffuser in order to achieve finer CO2 microbubbles. The result is improved CO2 circulation and levels, which will help improve overall plant health. Before we carry out a large water change in order to dilute the toxic water, we need to trim and remove any melting and unhealthy plants. This encourages new and healthy growth, which will hopefully help to fight off algae. We also trim and shape the Rotala green and HRA to promote bushier growth. Some of the carpeting plants are trimmed to prevent die-off at the substrate and to encourage side shoots and carpeting. The cuttings are carefully netted off and disposed of appropriately. Next, we clean the soft brown algae from the rocks with a dedicated aquarium maintenance toothbrush before finally carrying out a large water change. This is always done right at the end of the maintenance process in order to ensure any floating debris, algae spores and detritus is removed sufficiently. During the water changes, the displaced soil granules are siphoned away, leaving a clean sand substrate that looks more attractive. We refill the aquarium with conditioned water at the right temperature to reduce stress to the plants and any livestock when present. So we hope you enjoyed our latest update video on our Brazilian style aquascape. As you can see, issues can occur and are usually fixable as long as we identify the causes and take the necessary remedial action. We hope the next update video will show improvements, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications enabled and don't forget to sign up to our newsletter to give you exclusive news on future Tropica Live events. We look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye.